All right, welcome everybody to our quick little tutorial here on how to use the Portrait Magic Light action from Photography BB. Now, if you haven't downloaded that yet, you can head on over to www.photographybb.com and look for our blog post on Portrait Magic Light. So we have this action that's going to perform our skin smoothing for us and restore detail, natural detail, to the model's skin. Now before we do this, we need to install the Photoshop action into Photoshop. So let's head on over, download the action to your computer, and I recommend creating a folder for all of your actions and storing them all in one place. That's how I like to do it. So I put them in my main pictures folder. I have a folder inside here for Lightroom presets, one for all of my photos, and one for Photoshop Actions. And the reason I do this is because when I upgrade in the future to a new computer, or if for any reason Adobe doesn't migrate over my plugins and actions when upgrading to a new version of Photoshop, I have them all in one place and it's very easy for me to copy them over to a new device or to reinstall them all at once into Photoshop. So that's why I recommend saving them into folders on your computer like that. Uh, it's just my own personal recommendation. It doesn't matter where you save them, but I just like to do it this way. It makes it easy for me. So we're going to copy the downloaded action into the actions folder. Head on back to Photoshop and to install an action into Photoshop you open up the actions palette. You can do that by going to the menu window and then down to actions. And then in the upper right corner here there's a little flyout menu. Click on that and scroll down to load actions. Then just select portrait magic light and it is installed into your actions palette. So this particular action allows you a lot of control after the fact because we're going to be working with smart objects and smart filters. So I'll show you how it works. It's a one-click action and then I'll show you some of the advanced level of control that you have after the fact. So let's select that action and click on play to run it. And that's it. So we're going to click on continue here. Close up the actions palette. And now you can see here, I'm going to zoom in to 200% just so you can see the skin detail that's still restored in the model's skin. That's the natural detail of her skin right there. And as I zoom back out to 100%, you'll see from our original, I'm going to hold down the Option key or Alt key on a PC and click on the visibility layer of the bottom layer. So while you toggle that on and off while holding the Alt or Option key, it will show you what the effect of the other layers has had on your image. So here's before, that's the starting image, and here's after. Quite a remarkable difference as you can see here. Now I've purposely selected this model who has freckles on her skin because some people do like to smooth away the freckles and some people would rather retain the natural features of the skin like freckles. So what we'll do, we'll turn those layers back on again. Whoops. And we have two different layers here. We have a details layer and a smoothness layer. So because these are smart filters that we're working with, we can double click on them to change the effect of these filters. So let's click on surface blur twice. So if we lower or increase the radius, you'll see the effect that that has on the skin smoothing. That's a little bit more smooth. Obviously that the tones are less smooth as we go down. I actually liked where it was. Maybe I'll even bump it up to 35. And you can play around with the threshold to see what that does to your skin smoothing as well. The higher you go, the smoother it will be, but it will tend to get this little bit of a glow effect. Uh, that's not too bad around, let's say 40. So I'm going to go with that and click OK. And now, of course, it is very smooth. The tones are much more smoothed out than they were before. So this would be that more plasticky type of look. But you may feel that there's not enough detail in the skin this way. So you can actually go to the Details layer. Now the default opacity has been reduced to 50%. We can play around with that by just clicking and dragging to restore some sharpness to the skin. And as you can see, I'll zoom into 200%. And I'll just adjust that opacity one more time so you can see the effect of lowering the opacity. So there we're down to 0% and we'll crank it up to 70. 
And it's a pretty big difference. And that again, that is the natural skin texture. So we've smoothed away the skin, the uneven skin tones, but we've retained the texture of the skin itself. You can still see the pores, but all of the freckles and all of the patchy sort of reddish skin tones have been smoothed away nicely by the smoothness layer. Another control we have is the opacity of the smoothness layer itself and as we adjust that right now it's default at 100 and as we reduce that you'll see we can bring back some of the freckles while still keeping that evened out sm uh, smooth skin tone. So let's go back to 100% view here and we can bring back a little bit more of her freckles. Maybe reduce it to 45% and the details is at 70%. So you'll see if I toggle the layers on and off, that's the original, a little bit patchy skin and a little bit of blemishes on her skin as well. And as we toggle the other layers back on, we still have her freckles maintained. All that patchiness is gone and the skin is pretty smooth while still retaining her freckles. So you do have a lot of control with this action. It is free and I thank you guys for checking it out. I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoy the action. See you guys.